percentage. Percentage is a fraction which has denominator 100. So, any fraction that has denominator 100 can be known as the percentage. So, you can write the fraction having denominator equal to 100 will be known as the percentage, right? Now, we have to learn some conversions. First of all, for how to convert the percentage to fractions. Now, we have been taken two examples, 35% and 20%. We have to convert them to fractions. Very simple. We just want to remove this percentage sign. So, what we do? 35 upon 100. That is what is to be written. And if you want, you can simplify it further. And by taking the common factors, that will give you 7 upon 20. Now, that is the simplest form possible. So, this is the answer for the first conversion. Second one is converting 20% into fractions. Again, we will write 20. We, to remove that percentage sign, we write 100 in the denominator. And we can check if it is simplified further. Yes, we get it as 1 by 5. The next is the percentage conversion to decimals. Now, first of all, you have to get rid of this percentage sign. For that, what are we going to do? We are going to put the denominator 100. Now, this has been converted into fractions. Now, as we know, the decimal, this is known as a decimal fraction because it has a denominator in the powers of 10. So, how do we convert this into decimals? We just count the number of zeros in the denominator and start counting from the right of the numerator, the rightmost digit. How many zeros are present? Two zeros. So, we start counting from the rightmost digit and after two places, we will put a decimal point that is 0 0.28, right? Similarly, the next one, first of all, we have to get rid of this percentage sign. So, we write 7.5 over 100. Now, this has been converted into a fraction but this fraction is a decimal fraction because it has a denominator in the powers of 10, right? So, what we do now? We have to count the number of zeros and start counting from the rightmost part of the numerator. But here the numerator is a decimal itself. So, we have to start counting from the decimal place, the digit before decimal place. That is 7. We start counting from here. How many zeros are, how many decimal places are to be taken? 2 because there are 2 zeros. So, we write 0 0.075. The decimal, just forget about the digit after the decimal. Just consider the digits before the decimal place. Count the number of zeros and take that many places and put the decimal place. So, this is the decimal for the 7.5%. Next is the conversion from decimals to percentage. This is very simple. As we know, the percentage is written with the symbol of percent that is this one. So, what do we do? We just multiply 0 0.5 with 100 percent. What do we get? When you multiply these, you will write 4, 5, 2 zeros and the two decimal places are to be put. So, we start counting from the rightmost part and put the two decimal place and make a percentage sign. That leaves us with 45 percent. Understood? Let's do the next one now. Here also we are going to multiply the decimal 0 0.135 with 100 percent. By doing this we would get 13500 and three decimal places are to be put. So, we start counting from 1, 2, 3 and put a decimal place over here making your percentage sign. So, this is the percentage conversion. Now, let us move on to the next conversion where we have to convert the ratios to percentage. The first step would be to convert the ratios into fractional form and multiply this with 100 now. So, you will get, this can be cancelled. So, you get 80 percent, right? You are multiplying it with 100 percent. Similarly, here also, first convert it to the fractional form and then multiply the fraction with 100 percent. So, you, what do you get? You can simplify this and get 10 and here we are left with 30 percent. So, 30 percent and 80 percent are the respective percentages for the ratios 
4 is to 5 and 3 is to 10. The last is the percentage to ratio conversion. Now for this again you have to get rid of the sign of percentage. So we write 20 over 100 and this can be simplified further because we have the common factors. What are the common factors that we have? We have 20 for both. So we divide them with 20 and we get 1 over 5 as the fraction, simplest fraction and we can write the ratio for 1 by 5 that is 1 is to 5. Let us do it for 50% also. 50% means 50 upon 100. This can be simplified further by taking out the factors common that is 50 for both the case. So we divide them with 50 and we land up with 1 by 2. Now 1 by 2 is the simplest form. So we write it in the ratio format of 1 is to 2. So this is how conversions are done from one form to the other form.